Hi everyone, it's Cheryl Cohen here. I'm the president of Arthritis Consumer Experts. I'm a person who's living with rheumatoid arthritis for quite some time. I consider myself a seasoned veteran of that uh, effort. Um, and I'm also uh, here hosting uh, Motivation Monday. Super happy uh, to have Dr. Catherine uh, Bachman with us here today to talk about routine, balance, and well being. And let me tell you, Dr. Bachman is super qualified to talk to us about these things. Um, Dr. Bachman is professor uh, in the Department of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy at the University of British Columbia. And she's a senior scientist at Arthritis Research Canada. She studies in her research work, uh, the impact of arthritis on participation in social roles like parenting and employment and how people balance the occupations of everyday activities they need and want to do. She's also the current president of the Canadian Association of Occupational Therapists. So Dr. Bachman, thank you so much for taking time to visit with us today. It's my pleasure, Cheryl. Looking forward to our chat. So, okay, big question. Let's start with the big question right off the top. What is, and I'm gonna put in, kind of parents' life balance uh, look like today in the middle of a pandemic? Without being Debbie Downer here, uh, we are in a pandemic and this is not just a question for arthritis community, uh, Dr. Bachman, but for public, really. You're right, Cheryl. This is pretty unprecedented times and we're probably even getting tired of hearing people saying this is unprecedented. Um, but we're experiencing occupational disruption on um, a huge scale and worldwide. So um, in some way, shape or form, it's affecting everyone. Some people are um, uh, deprived of their normal occupations and routine and other people are having to go 24-7 uh, because they're engaged in activities that are so important to helping us get a handle um, on the pandemic. Um, so for for anyone this is um this is not life as normal <laughs> um th this is something different that we're all experiencing is it is it the case dr bachman that um those of us that are home i mean we always like to say in our educational programs that people with arthritis or any kind of chronic disease they're they're snowflakes they're really individuals and so how in the work that you do and advising people who are going through this um this pandemic at home um, from an occupational therapist, let's talk in a very practical way. Sure. How, do you, how do you give advice to people that's generalized for the reasons, you know, we all know why, uh, because that's where research, it's all about generalizing something and sending it out to the public. How do we take that pearl and, and implement it from, from, from an OT, using shorthand for occupational therapist? How do we do that in your mind? Okay, so you're right that uh, people are snowflakes in terms of being individuals, but people living with arthritis um, are far more resilient than a snowflake. <laughs> um, so people with arthritis are experts in occupational disruption. Um, they're looking at a long-term disease um, that's not going to go away. It's filled with uncertainty and ups and downs. Um, so right now they have tons of expertise to offer the world in terms of how you deal with uncertainty and um, manage some of the ups and downs of uh, daily life. So when, when we want to share information uh, that recognizes that we're all individuals, we kind of look for the fundamental principles or the underlying principles of how we make choices and decisions. So um, when it comes to balancing all the different things we need and want to do in our daily lives, some of the key principles are planning, pacing, and pausing. Mm. So if we think about planning, you need to um, decide what is it I need to do, what is it I want to do. Um, so we all have some obligatory things. So if your kids are now at home and uh, you're facing with um, you're faced with homeschooling um, or at least entertainment <laughs> uh, within the home, then you need there's some things that you need to do. Um, and if on top of that, you're also trying to manage some of your own work or some of your own personal self-care, 
um, then you need to have a plan about how you're going to do this. And kids are writing some great plans. So lots of, um, lots of examples on social media where moms are pretty proud of the plan that their kids put together. And so I loved, um, I loved one that a seven-year-old uh, child put forward. Um, so she had everything down to the minute uh, sketched out um, on her plan. And the spelling was especially the creative part. Uh, but she even went so far as to have two minutes of meditation from 2 to 2.02 p.m. <laughs> so she had that little pause in there um, for herself and was pacing herself. Another colleague shared with me her kid's schedule and they had color coded their mom and dad and had written an arrow in their schedule of when mom was working and dad was working so they knew which parent to go to um, if they needed um, some help. So um, kids of any age can help with kind of that planning. What is it that we're going to do today? And so you want to look at a day, but also look at a week because you don't want to cram everything into a day and um, maybe plan um, your week. The, right now, every day could feel like a weekend in a way, but you want to kind of have your work days and your weekend days. You want to have your work time and your um, uh, play time. So you, you, you want to think about what needs and wants to be done and, and have a bit of plan. What's important to you? What's congruent um, with your values or uh, what you find satisfying or enjoyable. Um, and when you have a plan, it makes it a little bit easier to pace yourself um, because you have a dedicated time and space for work or you decide that we're going to, you know, our physical activity is going to be dancing like nobody's looking. Um, so you put the music on and um, dance away so you have your um, exercise. You maybe uh, figure out ways to have a little bit of alone time. And that's where we come to the pause where you need some time to pause, um, take a break. Um, I listened to your uh, chat with um, Susan uh, last week and the just pause and take a deep breath, really important. Um, one, of the, one of the pauses that I take, I don't know if you saw um, uh, Steve Martin, the comedian who also plays the banjo, um, recorded and posted online a 78 second banjo tune. He didn't say a word. He just recorded himself in the woods playing the banjo. And so I do that. It's like uh, my seven-year-old kid telling me two minutes of meditation. So I just sort of visualize myself uh, in those woods with Steve Martin playing the banjo and uh, do some uh, deep breathing um, um, there. So yeah, so if you take these principles um, so everybody can um, uh, plan and pace and pause, um, but they develop it for their own family, their own lifestyle, their own home, um, uh, with based on what they need and want to do. So the three P's. Yep. So the three P's. P's in this case. I guess the fourth one's pandemic. <laughs> um, so the, th the three P's uh, to survive the pandemic, maybe. Um, but uh, it applies to uh, managing arthritis or any chronic illness, but it also plan, um, pertains to how um, our lives have been disrupted in the face of this uh, pandemic, but also just our well-being going forward. There, a lot of us are going to learn quite a bit about um, ourselves and what's important uh, to ourselves, um, how to enjoy life. <laughs> Um, and uh, take away some lessons, I think, uh, from this stay at home uh, period of time that we have as a result of the pandemic. Yeah, I, I've been using the phrase silver linings a, a lot right. and, and trying to find the silver lining in an otherwise, uh, obviously, when you think about people getting ill and actually dying, it can be very depressing. Um, and kind of heightens your sense of isolation and loneliness. And, and you've given us some really practical strategies um, for, for dealing uh, with some of that from a planning perspective, like busy, bu um, it's about busy hands and busy minds, you know, keep you kind of elevated, I think. I wanna, as we sort of close our conversation, Dr. Bachman, I wanted to ask you um, a practical question from a, someone who's at home and working uh, perspective 
about productivity. What, what's reasonable? I find myself, I'm up at six o'clock. I hate the mornings, frankly, but I'm having to, I, I told myself, oh, I got to be doing more because I'm not at work. I'm actually finding I'm working longer hours at home and taking fewer breaks. So I've taken careful notes of your comments about finding the start and stop and the pause. But what, are, what about productivity? Yeah, so uh, lots of people have been claiming that they're gonna be extra productive because they're now holed up in their homes, working from home, no interruptions, and finding out um, that there are lots of interruptions, <laughs> uh, lots of distractions um, that take you away. I think it's great to still get up at your regular time and go through your morning routine. You don't have to rush off to a commute or something like that. Um, but I think you need to cut yourself a little bit of slack on the productivity um, piece because there's a lot going on um, in the world. You um, uh, set, set some goals and track them, but uh, give yourself a bit, be kind to yourself, give yourself a bit of a break and adjust those, those productivity goals uh, based on, on things that are going on around you. So occupational therapists like to talk a lot about um, supporting people's occupations in terms of looking at um, some of the personal skill set. So we look at what the person brings to it. What's the occupation that they're trying to achieve that they want to do? And what's the effect of the environment on all of this? So a lot of times when we're working with people with arthritis, um, they're, they're learning about their changed personal um, characteristics and skill set and they're developing new um, skills and we sometimes adapt the environment to support of it to support the, the occupations that they wanna do. What we're seeing right now is this huge disruption in the environment that we're all working in. So we need to cut ourselves a little bit of slack um, and recognize that it's not quite life as normal. So adjust those goals um, and expectations, exchange resources um, and ideas, and ask for help um, if you need. Um, help to get some of these uh, things done. There's probably, uh, everybody needs a sense of purpose, lots of people willing to help. And so there's probably um, different things that can be exchanged with your friends, neighbors, um, family members, so that we all get through this together. That's such great advice. And I'm going to look myself in the mirror tonight before I go to bed and tell myself to cut some slack for that lady. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to thank you so much, Dr. Bachman. Uh, in just a short period of time, you've given such great practical, uh, not only advice and tips, but insights into the situation um, our community faces uh, today um, and some of the special uh, things that we have going for us, actually, uh, in, in terms of our ability to cope already. Um, and, uh, and hopefully those people, uh, family members or friends of people living with arthritis who've tuned in, they're going to learn something too about how to better plan at home, uh, and, and how to assign, you know, uh, uh, play time with work time. I love the idea about the arrows back and forth. Uh, and, uh, and I think Dr. Bartlett, um, she gave me a really, all of us a practical piece of advice saying, if you're worried about COVID, give it a time give yourself that time in the day to worry 20 minutes do it at 11 o'clock that's what i'm doing at 11 o'clock now every morning so that's part of my plan um anyway i want to thank you so much uh we have resources uh, that'll follow uh, to our viewers following uh, the video piece so keep an eye out for those some terrific resources that dr bachman has provided you we encourage you to give us comments questions uh on the facebook page uh, you can also email us at feedback at jointhealth.org. Uh, Dr. Bachman, thank you again so much for joining us uh, for Arthritis at Home on Motivation Monday. Great. Thanks very much. Stay well, Cheryl. I think it's a great program, uh, Arthritis at Home, for the, the weeks ahead. Thank you. Thank you, and be safe.